Yoshi, the extraordinary loggerhead turtle has reached Australian waters in what many believe is a record-breaking swim. She was released from the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town some two years ago and has gone on to become now an international celebrity. To find out more about this extraordinary animal, um, I'm joined by our Cape Town studio by the Two Oceans Aquarium CEO, Mareka Mossen from our Cape Town studio. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, um, Mareka. Now, Yoshi has traveled 37,000 kilometers in 26 months. That must be an extraordinary distance uh, for, um, for an, a turtle of this kind. No, absolutely. It's actually an extraordinary distance for anybody yeah. and any animal. And we're incredibly proud of Yoshi. She's done so well. She's maintained well over a marathon a day for longer than two years. Wow. And yes, the, the, she's an absolute worldwide celebrity and a <laughs> champion. Now, uh, take us back to um, when uh, she arrived at the Two Oceans Aquarium. I believe it was back in 1997. Uh, tell us how that came about. That's right, yes. Um, a Japanese fishing vessel actually entered the port of Cape Town and contacted the aquarium and asked them if they would like to come and fetch this little turtle that they had on board and she had an injury on a shell. And um, they looked after incredibly well. It was almost as if she was a little onboard pet for a while. And our staff went to collect her and she was absolutely too cute, a little mm. two kilogram turtle. And at the time, we had no intention of keeping turtles um, under our care. But because of the injury and sort of the novelty, we decided to have a good go at it. And, and we didn't know much about keeping turtles, though. But she had a massive personality, even for a little turtle, settled in really well. And over the following years, taught us a huge amount about caring for turtles, which really prepared us for important role in contributing to turtle conservation, not just with stories, but also the rescue and rehabilitation of turtles and to date the two oceans aquarium has rehabilitated and released more than 600 turtles so we give a lot of credit of course to yoshi mm -hmm. And then Yoshi, um, you know, she had a massive appetite. She grew big and strong. And uh, by the time we released her, she was over 180 kilos from that wow. little two kilogram turtle. But she, over these years, being at the aquarium, she was really safe. So sea turtles all over the world are endangered species. And, um, you know, only about one to two out of a thousand loggerhead hatchlings actually survived to maturity. Mm. So Yoshi was safe in this wonderful facility and of course reached sexual maturity at about the age of 22, 23, which we estimated was around about two years ago, actually four years ago when we, we decided it probably would be in her best interest if we released her back into the beautiful ocean where she belongs. But we had to go through a lot of research mm. to figure out would this be a viable option for a turtle who's been under captive care for so long. But luckily through the years, as we worked with many other turtles, we started satellite tagging these turtles together with the Department of Environmental Affairs. And we had massive success. These turtles did really well after rehabilitation. So that gave us a lot of confidence and it validated our rehab efforts. And we started preparing Yoshi for release. Of course, we had to prepare our staff all our visitors, mm -hmm. all our members, because everybody was absolutely besotted with this amazing turtle. But we decided we had to get a fit. So Yoshi entered a very strict exercise regime. She <laughs> had to swim lengths every day in a very big um, tank that, that uh, we kept her in. And it took us 18 months to get her ready for release. And December 1997 was the, was the release day. And it was amazing. You know, there were lots of tears, of mm. course. Um, but we put Yoshi back into the ocean about 30 nautical miles from Cape Point, And she just swam off into the distance. You know, there was this infinite amount of space. And the satellite tag served us so well. It has shared incredible information. She surprised us because she went up the West Coast. We assumed she'll go up the East Coast. And she traveled along, eventually got to Namibia, carried on all the way to Angola. Yeah. And then halfway through um, 2017, she actually turned around and she came all the way back. So after 12 months, she did this massive loop and she was back offshore Cape Town. 
and we had no idea where she was going to go. And then she decided she's going to cross the Indian Ocean. And she's been on a mission this last year. She went past Madagascar, kept going, and right now she's about 60 kilometers from Point Sampson, which is Western Australia, which of course is very exciting because there are logged nesting sites um, over there. So it's quite possible that she's found herself a charming mate <laughs> and she might go nest along the Australian shores, which of course would mean that she is an Aussie after all. <laughs> and not South African because female logged sea turtles they go and nest wherever they hatched as little baby turtles so the entire world is holding their breaths to see where is Yoshi from, what is she going to do next maybe she's just going close to shore to eat some tasty crabs, we're not sure and she might very well continue on her journey but it's been such a privilege to be part of this and share this journey because she's this incredible ocean ambassador um, you know, she's had to navigate so many risks out at sea because it's, it's dangerous in the ocean. Mm. There's um, ghost fishing gear that she could get trapped in. There are big fishing vessels. And uh, she's just the champion. She's strong. She's, she's swimming beautifully and inspiring the world to care about the ocean and the planet. Um, and, and now, it really sounds like such an adventure. And you're right. It, re it really gives us an opportunity to educate so many more people about this important species. Um, have you been in contact with your colleagues in Australia? Are we happy that she's an Aussie after all? They seem to look after these kinds of species pretty well from what I've read. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we're very happy. She's in protected waters, which is great. The Australian conservation researchers are seriously excited about this because, of course, they believe she's definitely Australian. So they on standby. Um, hopefully, if she does come to shore, they'll be close enough to be able to actually replace her satellite tag because it is coming to, to the end of its battery life. So, no, the Australians are very excited, but the whole world's excited. You know, I've got um, this funny feeling that maybe she's from Japan and she'll actually <laughs> head, head around and head up to Japan and, and everybody in Japan's excited. So, so we'll, we'll have to see at the moment. Everybody claims to sort of own Yoshi and, I mean, she, she belongs to the ocean, which is fantastic that that is where she's at. And now, uh, Yoshi was brought to shore, like you said, by a Japanese fish fishing vessel off the coast of Cape Town. Do you often get phone calls like that? Is, is it something that you encourage? Yes, you know what, when turtles um, wash ashore or if they're floating out at sea, there's always something wrong with them. They're compromised in some way or another. Mm -hmm. So we've been so fortunate that through media, social media, um, people are so much more aware that when you do encounter a turtle, either floating or on the beach, there's something wrong and it needs help. <laughs> so we've got this fantastic rehabilitation center at the aquarium. And, you know, last year we, had, we received more than 200 sea turtles that were under our care. And we had an 85% release rate, which is probably the highest in the world, which is really special. So it's coming up for turtle season, um, what we call it, where these little turtles hatch up in northern Natal in Mozambique. And quite a lot of them wash up along our shores where they get trapped in cold water. And because of amazing people, just people walking on the beach and finding these little turtles, they actually get a chance to survive um, when they're with us and we, we put them under our care. So from the tiniest little turtles of about 20 grams to really large turtles that often suffer boat strikes or plastic pollution, we get that really often where turtles mm -hmm. actually consume plastic, it blocks them up. But because of people who care, and it's so inspiring to see how many people care about turtles and the ocean, they end up with us and, you know, it's like a turtle hospital. We fix them, we share their stories, we put them back in the ocean and Yoshi and all the other turtles that we've had on tag has proven that this works. You know, turtle conservation is real and people make uh, an incredibly positive impact on the planet by caring. Well, I, I do believe one of the hot spots in Western Australia that Yoshi might be at near Point Samson is called Honeymoon Cove. So maybe that's a good sign that there might be some small Yoshis on the way soon. Thank you so much. The CEO of the Two Oceans Aquarium Education Foundation, Mareka Mussen. Um, so great to have such enthusiastic and passionate experts in this very, very important field for us.